Galaxy S6 Edge Customer said forgot the pattern So let's reset it So this phone is the volume up power button and the home button Shall you see this screen? Okay, let's go to the factory research. Sorry, start. And we'll go back after uh, the phone finish restarting. Connect to the internet. Because the steps that we need to do, they need to use the internet connection. has a Google account Turn on accessibility mode continue holding the screen with two fingers until you hear a beep Turn on accessibility mode continue holding the screen voice assistant turns on one is flooring the screen the current screen has half icons on it so it doesn't work so it doesn't work. I'm gonna use a application that just works good with Samsung. And let me show you that. So this is where I download the from. So you can see this is all the versions is here. I didn't use this version yet. It's still using this one. 1.4.3. It works a bit for me. The phone is on the Google account screen. So for the Samsung Google account removal, I use these two programs. This one here, the version 1.4.3, and this one here. So these two programs is free, just you need to look, search for, search for them on Google by the, by the exact name, so you don't download no viruses or other uh, malware programs. This program here, this one here, FRP 2020 is already open. It's here, it's easy to use. This one here, this, this is the one here. So I want to show you both programs that I use here. So this one, so the phone is on the Google screen and the phone connected to the computer. Telling you that the phone is need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. That's already uh, connected, and we click OK. So, so here is send a code to the phone, and the phone is giving us this one. So, this is gonna open the YouTube. So the YouTube is open, but the problem in this phone, the, this version is old, and that's why it can't open. So if I click install, it's going to take me to the Google uh, account screen.
Yeah, this program it work with all the phones that have a new version S20 any phone that's been updated before this one it will work fine and is easy to use so be sure that you installed the Samsung driver before you connect uh, the phone Samsung USB driver so this one it doesn't work and let's try this one here and we're gonna go to it gonna go to FRP and we go scan and let's try this one so we sent something to the phone is a YouTube let's try it the same problem but in this phone we have an option is good so we don't want to send the YouTube, we want to send the, the open map. So here the phone is opening the map. That's great. So now we can finish the setup on the phone. Skip. Just search for any location. So when you see the map here, you can use no, no yet. Okay, it's give us now the option to drive. Head north on 95th Street North toward Arbol Court. So now we can go to Google. Open Google. Opening Google. So we go to VN Room. We download this one. Right, there is no download option here. So click to it again and I go to downloads. can't be open so what do we do go to settings application manager go to my file see if we can open it from here We can open this one. Yep, can open it. We go my file in the in Google and here. So now we can install that application with a lot. So if you click to open, you don't have nothing here to use. We do the same thing. So here we go more info and click this one. So we can keep the app. 
we'll go to settings application application manager Google Play we can disable it so let's go back to setting Turn off this one, disactivate. Yep, it's off. We can disable it now. We go to Google or Play Store. This one here with that mark. We can put our account now. and the phone if we go to settings to check we have our account over there so next we're going to need to go and enable one here so our account has been added to the phone So here the Google and we have our account over there. Hey, so we can now solve for this video and uh, see you again.